Hello and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. My ghost and habanero peppers are ripening in ones and twos and I think I found the perfect sauce to use them in. Today I'm making spicy romasco sauce. This is a classic Spanish roasted red pepper sauce and it's traditionally used as a spread or a dip, but it can also be used as a pasta topper in a pinch. We need to start this sauce by roasting some red bell peppers, so let's get started. This is three roasted red bell peppers. Now you can either use jarred or if you're ambitious, you can fire roast the bell peppers yourself. We start by roasting them over an open flame, either the grill or in the kitchen. Once they're black on all sides, they get put into a bowl so that they can steam. Once they're cool enough to handle, you just peel the skins off, seed them, and they go in the bowl. This is four small tomatoes from my garden. You can either use one large tomato, two medium tomatoes, or in a pinch, you could use three ounces of tomato paste. I have seven cloves of garlic here. You can really use as much or as little as you like. This also is getting roasted. This sauce is thickened with a half cup of toasted slivered almonds. We'll also be toasting a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. This is my ghost and two habaneros. You could just omit these if you don't want it to be so spicy. I have a quarter cup of olive oil and two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. And most importantly, a tablespoon of smoked paprika and a teaspoon of kosher salt. If you're using fresh tomatoes, these need to be roasted. These are going cut side down on this pan along with all of our garlic. We're toasting the almonds in a dry frying pan over medium heat. We need to keep these moving because they will burn very quickly. Once these are toasted, I'm turning off the heat and then I'm adding the breadcrumbs just to the hot pan. Once these tomatoes are cool enough to handle, we can peel them, the skins just pop right off, and then the tops need to be cored. And we need to peel this garlic. This sauce gets made in a food processor, so use the appropriate size bowl. This is my nine cup work bowl. This needs to be pulsed and then run until it's chunky smooth. You'll probably have to scrape down the sides a few times. We're getting ready to taste the spicy romasco sauce. Now I'm serving it with this crusty baguette, although again, it could be used as a topper for pasta in a pinch. Let's give this a taste. Let's get a little bit of romasco sauce on here. And by little, I mean a lot. Oh, this is so good. Oh, you can smell that smoked paprika. Mmm. Not too hot. Hurry up, delivery truck. I want to taste this. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.